I'm an idiot, basically. Um, let's uh, start off with that little nugget of truth. Uh, basically, I got it in my head because, as I stated, I'm an idiot. That I could get every single GameCube game. And I, I don't remember where I heard it. I heard it somewhere that uh, GameCube was kind of the way to go these days. Entirely because, A, they're just getting to that point where no one gives a shit about them anymore. Like, you know when... You know, I would say the PS2 is kind of there as well, this, right, right about now. Like, But still, people... I, no, I'm going to say PS2 is still a little bit, a little bit above there. But like with GameCube, it's kind of like you know, is that is it's not retro in my eyes. It's it's dated, but still some shit looks awesome on that. But it's dated, so like is that is that retro? Is that where where where, where do you put that in a shop now? And uh, going to a game station recently, uh, they are getting rid of GameCube. You know what I'm saying? Like 49p a pop. What? So, I took it upon myself to uh, to do the ridiculous task of collecting every GameCube game, and along with that comes uh, my pain, uh, my pain that I'm going to be inflicting on my girlfriend, the pain I'm going to be inflicting on others around me, pain on my wallet. I, I don't, I, I don't have, I don't I literally have no money. I have literally no money. Let's turn down living with people for this. Not that this is over. You know what I'm saying? It's just no money. No money. I don't. I hardly have enough to live, so how I'm going to do this? Oh, no idea. And it seems like game stations don't even really have that. You know, the stock isn't there anymore. They're shipping that off to somewhere to, to be burnt. I mean, I mean, I mean burnt. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so I was going to set up a website, I have, made the list, I have, and I was just a little extra, just a little, you know, here's what I got recently. So let's start. Let's start with the one game I actually had at the beginning of all this. Star Wars, I don't know how the glare's even going to work, because glare, maybe, I don't know. Star Wars Rogue Leader, I'm going to kind of do that, that's probably really bad, isn't it? Star Wars Rogue Leader. Uh, this, I, I've told myself I'm going to uh, get all PAL games. This was in my attic with my GameCube. I was like, I swear I've got a GameCube somewhere. I do. Uh, and this was with it. So, one up for me. No, pro, no, nothing paid for this except for what I paid for it when it originally came out. Uh, although this is an Australian copy because I did actually try to trade this in a while ago. And GameStation were like, are you high? And I was like... Yeah, um, so you know that's Star Wars Rogue Leader. That's Rogue Squadron Two. One was on the N64. I, w you know, I wish I had some trivia about this. I just remember putting this into my GameCube and thinking, "Fuck me, this looks wow! Like this just looks awesome." And still to this day, it, it's it's still wow. So next up. I'll, I'll pick up the four that I actually got from GameStation. Uh, these were all 59p each. I spent the grand total of uh, two pounds. It was either this or like a burger. Uh, I chose this. I'm hungry. Uh, so we've got Legends of Wrestling 2 here. Comes uh, complete. See, I've learned how to do that, you know. I've watched people enough, like, you know, comes complete. Didn't do it with Rogue Squadron. Just gonna have to believe me. Um, the one thing I will say about all these games, like from Game Station, which isn't usual from Game Station, is uh, all the discs, despite the age of the actual game, are, are really good. Um, just I, I kind of want to make a thing to play everything. I kind of want to make a thing to to kind of you know look back at this time and think, wow, you know, it's come along a long way. The one thing I remember, um, balls. I remember nothing about. If you want to see what bad menus look like, like if you want to see how far menus have come as, as just just menus, pick this up because this looks like a bag of shit when uh, you're looking at menu uh, design and things like that. 
Uh, it's, it's not so much just the fact that it's a little bit blurry. It's the fact that the menu structure is fucking horrible. And it looks like... Uh, I'm not going to go into what I do for a living. I'm a wizard. Um, but basically, it looks like they've gone to some stock photo website and kind of just gone chains, search chains, download every image of chains, put chains into menu, chains, and that's what this game is, it's a pile of chains. Uh, the Mania is back, glare could be an issue, but the Mania is back, and uh, yeah, played this twice, played a one-on-one -on -one and a Royal Rumble, never want to go near that again. Next up, NBA Live 2005. Get the, I'm going to start doing this just to kind of test where glare is going to be. This is incomplete. It looks like it's complete. But it's incomplete. I don't have a manual for this. And uh, when I picked this up and I opened it because they put like a seal here because the bastards. Um, I thought to myself, oh, you know, it's not got a manual. Fuck. And then for a second I was like, you know what? I've seen enough people online who are collecting games who haven't got manuals. I'm going to thrive on that. I'm going to be like, oh, fuck, you know, I just need that fucking manual. Jesus. Uh, played this for a while with a friend. Um, it's alright. It, I don't think me, as a British person, I don't think I'm made for basketball games. There's one thing which you can't do in this game, and that is, like, physically, like, properly get in there and tackle someone. There is no tackling in, in you know, basketball. I, I know that. I'm not a fool. Um, there's a lot of standing around and blocking and waiting, so I don't think NBA games, as much as I really want to enjoy basketball games, because sports games are fun with other people, despite how bad or good they are, they are always fun. Um, this, this just doesn't, like, you know, what the fuck, what am I supposed to do? Stand there and wait. Uh, there is this, like, trick shot mode thing. Uh, fuck that. Uh, you know, we tried to do it. There's no real explanation. If I had a manual, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the next game I've got is another incomplete game. It's also another sports game. Fight Night Round 2. See that? Testing. Uh, this is dope. I really enjoyed this. Incomplete as fuck, but, you know, this is really good. Um, we pop, me, me and a friend popped this in. Um, v, shout to V. Uh, shout to Ben for the other games as well. Um, we popped this in, and I think we were expecting just literally. You know, I'd known the Fight Night name, um, never really been a sports fan, uh, games wise at least. Uh, if never been a sports fan, and otherwise, anyway, I've never been a sports fan. Let's just go back to that comment. Never been a sports fan. Silence. Um, I popped this in, and we had a really good time. It was awesome. We made a um, a custom like character. I'm not gonna say what he was called, but we made one. Um, and he was cool. You know, it's to a degree. I mean, if you don't know how Fight Night works, you kind of like you're moving with one uh, analog stick. Um, you're planting your feet with the left trigger, so for like your blocks and, and shit like that, you know, that's there. Uh, and you're using the C-Stick, which is essentially uh, the right analog stick on like an Xbox controller. Um, for those people who never played a GameCube, which is probably... You've all probably played a GameCube. Uh, but the C-Stick was like the punches... Hitting punches, you know, just punching games off here. Um, so, like, you know, you, you kind of, like, push up on the, the C-Stick, and it's like a jab. Uh, you know, I annoyed someone just literally fucking flicking that thing, because, you know, it's really... it's it's quite easy to kind of get in the flow of like doing like, you know, hooks, and I'm just like bam 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 bam. Um. So yeah, using the C stick. I don't know even what tangent I was on. It was just very fun. Um. But that's how that you know I find myself kind of like, just circling that C stick. I'm winning. Um. But yeah, well, no, it's pretty cool. Next game I got from Game Station, which is complete, and I haven't played. Um, Star Fox Adventures. Maybe anyone in the comments can tell me if this is actually good. Um, I know it's supposed to be kind of like a 
Zelda-esque kind of Lila, well, no, not Lila was, obviously based on what Lila was, was, oh, fucking, what was it called, Starwing or whatever it was, Star Fox, Star Fox, I don't know. Um, but it's supposed to be like based off like an adventure gamey kind of thing, uh, kind of like a Zelda. Um, yeah, it's there, it's in the collection, there's not much more I can really say about it. If I wanted to play a Zelda game, I would probably play Zelda. Though, this was made by Rare. I think it was one of the last games that Rare actually made before like a big contract was signed and Microsoft basically ate them. Like, literally ate them. Like, Rare. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I am genuinely interested to try this out if, if just to see what Rare did do as a quasi-swan song for their lives. Um, and these two are recent pickups. Now, shout outs to my um, my friend, my colleague, Tom Jarvis the Crunch. I'm just going to call him Tom Jarvis. 20p he spent on me. 20p. He doesn't want it back. He doesn't want it back. Quid's in. Well, not quid's in, because he spent 20p. 20p's in. Uh, FIFA Football 2003. Now, there's a thing going around in our office about. Uh, oh, comes complete, by the way. Complete. He got me a complete game. There was also another game called Red Card Soccer, which he was going to get me. I've heard of that. It's all about fouling. Cool, whatever. Um, didn't come with a manual. He was in CEX, and it was a quid. And he was going to spend a quid 20. I would have been quids in then. But, um, no, it didn't come with a manual, and he made the, um, the very wise decision as to not buy me that game, because I'm kind of looking for stuff with manuals. Now, after buying a game without a manual, I realised that I want to I wanna kind of get these complete, and I want to, you know, hold the history, if you know what I mean. Keep the whole thing together. Alright, so he spent 20p on me. Grats for that. FIFA 2003. It's there, it's in the collection now. I don't really have anything to say about FIFA. I played FIFA 09, maybe. Something with a friend called Ben. I played FIFAs with him. Um, but I was always terrible at it. I was terrible at FIFA. Uh, people are good at FIFA. When they get good at FIFA, you are instantly terrible at FIFA. Um, so what we used to do to balance out a little bit is we used to play Crotone versus Crotone and that will always be a uh, staple of all FIFA games for me. If a FIFA game does not have Crotone in it, fuck you. Um, Crotone is the worst team in the game as far as we can remember from like maybe 09 or something. Um, so we used to play Crotone and Crotone and it would level out. It would be me not expecting anything from the team and trying to actually play the game and my friend, Ben, um, expecting to be able to do shit that he really couldn't do. So he'd be getting to the edge of the box and being like, I didn't, you know, I'm going to shoot this. And it would go nowhere near the goal. It would actually probably go closer towards his goal than, uh, than my goal. Uh, so that kind of leveled the player feel. It, it, you know, made, made it fun. And the last game, oh god, game is jump the disc is jumping out at me. Last game I've got to wind down this collection video uh, was given to me today by my lovely, wonderful girlfriend. Uh, she spent one ninety nine on this bad boy. Uh, the, the pound was the, the buying, the, the, the 99p was the pack hosting packaging. All the other way around, I don't care. This game is black and bruised, and believe me, this case is like, wow, black and bruised itself. I haven't played this, got this back tonight because um, by popular demand I had to get this video out. I don't know why I'm doing this video. It's very much like uh, people just want to see me ram myself into my own kind of GameCube grave as it were. Uh, black and bruised. Um, the one thing that got me about this is on the back of the box, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up, it says facial expressions as a, um, as a feature. And if you look at the front of the box, they are really trying to ram that point home. Facial features! Friggin' awesome! So, with that said, that's my, that's my first seven games into the dark descent of, like, poverty and, and... Why am I doing this? Seriously.